Did you know that Nike's tagline "Just Do It" were actually the last words of a murderer, and that it only took thirty-five dollars to create the iconic logo? So watch this video till the end because I'm going to share three fun facts about Nike and how it was started, how it got its logo, and how it got its tagline. So watch it till the end. So Namaste, dosto. My name is Abhay Valsankar. और मैं वेलकम करता हूं आपका फन फ्राइडेज में जहां पे मैं लेके आता हूं ऐसे फैक्ट्स अबाउट टॉप ब्रांड्स जिसे सुनकर आपके जिंदगी में जरूर वैल्यू ऐड होगी तो आइए आज का वीडियो शुरू करते हैं सबसे पहले तो अगर आप इस वीडियो पे नए हो तो जरूर इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और बेलाइकन को भी दबाइए ताकि जब मैं नया वीडियो डालू तो सबसे पहले आप देख सके तो आज इस वीडियो में हम जानेंगे कि नाइकी कैसे एक वन बिलियन डॉलर कंपनी बन गई सो द फर्स्ट फन फैक्ट अबाउट नाइकी विच वी गोइंग टू सी इज दिस तो ये शुरुआत होती है 1964 में जहां पे एक एथलेटिक्स कोच जिनका नाम था बिल बॉवरमैन वो ट्रेन कर रहे थे कुछ स्टूडेंट्स को फॉर एथलेटिक्स और वहां पे उनके एक स्टूडेंट थे जिनका नाम था फिल नाइक और वहां से शुरू हुई नाइकी की कहानी तो जैसे ही बिल बॉवरमैन अपने स्टूडेंट्स को कोच करते थे अबाउट रनिंग अपने फ्री टाइम में वो यही सोचते थे कि हम कैसे इनका परफॉर्मेंस बेटर करें तो एज अ कोच दिस इज वॉट वी थिंक दैट हाउ डू वी इंप्रूव अ स्टूडेंट्स परफॉर्मेंस और तभी कुछ जब उन्हें फ्री टाइम मिलता था वो शूज को कुछ मरम्मत करते थे कि व्हाट कैन आई डू टू दिस शूज जिससे कि इनका परफॉर्मेंस बेटर हो सके बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली ही डिड नॉट गेट एनी इमीडिएट रिजल्ट्स। तो उस टाइम पे जो उनके स्टूडेंट थे फिल नाइट उन्होंने कुछ ही महीनों में अपना फर्दर बिजनेस एजुकेशन लेने के लिए स्टैनफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी में चले गए अब जैसे ही स्टैनफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी में चले गए उनकी एक असाइनमेंट थी जिसमें उन्होंने ये कहा था कि जो फिलहाल शूज मिल रहे हैं वो काफी एक्सपेंसिव है सो इफ वी स्टार्ट इम्पोर्टिंग शूज फ्रॉम जपैन and then if we sell it in the retail market here it would be a lot better aur jo german shoes hai unke price ko hum compete kar sakte hai kyunki apna cost kafi bachega manufacturing mein kyunki japan mein manufacturing cost are less aur isne acche se pura assignment bana ke submit kiya aur jaise ki zyada tar assignments ka hota hai us assignment ko bhi sirf marks ke liye dekha gaya aur usse side mein rakh diya gaya aur isliye phil knight became very disappointed that his views were not taken into consideration So he decided this that after his education he decided why not I start on my own and let me import a few shoes from Japan and let me sell it in the local market here aur usne dheere dheere shuru kar diya import karna Japan se aur Japan mein wo jis company se shoes import karte the us company ka naam tha Onitsuka Tiger jise hum aaj jante hain Asics is naam se to Phil Knight ne shuru kiya wahan se shoes ko lena aur local market mein use bechna तो व्हेन इट केम टू सेलिंग उनको याद आ गई अपने कोच की जो हमेशा शूज में कुछ बेटरमेंट लाने की कोशिश करते थे तो उन्होंने कॉल किया बिल बोवरमैन को सेइंग दैट आई हैव गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ शूज व्हिच आई हैव इंपोर्टेड एंड आई वांट टू सेल इट इन द रिटेल सो वुड यू हेल्प मी डू द सेम तो अब बिल बोवरमैन ने काफी सारे शूज इकट्ठा कर लिए और उसे टेस्ट करना शुरू कर दिया और वो जेन्युइनली काफी अच्छी क्वालिटी के थे सो ही स्टार्टेड सेलिंग देम एंड ही रियलाइज्ड कि इनका डिमांड तो बढ़ते ही जा रहा है एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ही सेड टू फिल नाइट कि लेट्स पार्टनर हम शुरू करते हैं एक पार्टनरशिप जिससे हम की शूज बेचेंगे एंड दैट वाज अ मोमेंट वेयर इन बिल बोवरमैन एंड हिज स्टूडेंट फिल नाइट स्टार्टेड अ कंपनी टुगेदर व्हिच वाज कॉल्ड एज द ब्लू रिबन कंपनी एंड इन दैट ब्लू रिबन स्पोर्ट्स कंपनी दे यूज्ड टू गेट ऑल द शूज इंपोर्टेड फ्रॉम जापान एंड देन दे यूज्ड टू सेल इट नाउ द वे दे सोल्ड देयर शूज वाज यूजिंग फिल नाइट्स कार तो वो उस गाड़ी में जाके सब जगह डिलीवरी करते थे और शूज बेचते थे So slowly in 1971 they realized that now it's time to start their own brand. So they decided to manufacture locally and they set up a small factory in Mexico from where the shoes started to manufacture. Now when the time came for branding they decided to come down and narrow to a simple name which has a brand presence and they decided to then go ahead with Nike and Nike was nothing but a Greek goddess of victory. So they wanted to signify their journey and their victory so that is why they decided to go ahead with the Greek goddess of victory Nike as their brand name and once the name was established the next thing that they wanted was a marketing was a branding in form of a stripe which would come on the shoes so at that time Adidas had stripes on shoes which signified that this was their brand and Phil Knight also wanted something similar which would then signify a brand of its own now let's look at the second fun fact for Nike So why Phil Knight was teaching at a university of Portland the student at that time Carolyn wanted to have some extra money done so that she could afford the oil painting classes that she wanted to take So Phil Knight offered her a suggestion that I'm branding a new company called as Nike and I'm looking for a logo and I can give you 2 dollars per hour so would you help me design that 
So Caroline went ahead and started designing the logo and then eventually after 17 hours she came up with an idea which was nothing but a swoosh. So the typical iconic symbol that we see like a check was actually like a swoosh. And what was that swoosh for? It determined nothing but fluidity, it determined nothing but action, it determined nothing but motion. And that is how for $35 through a student, Phil Knight got a logo which in itself today, just for the logo, has a brand value of more than $26 billion. Now look at the circle of life. First, Phil Knight was a student himself working with his coach, Bill Bowerman. And now Phil Knight, who is a professor, works with his student, Caroline. And that's how the whole thing for Nike as a name and as a logo came in together. Now let's look at the third fact about Nike, that how did it get its tagline? Now, as I said earlier in this video, the tagline for Nike, which is now world renowned in form of Just Do It, was actually the last words of a twin murderer whose name was Gary Gilmore. In 1970, when Gary Gilmore, who was charged of twin murders, was encountered by the police, during his final words, what he said was, let's do it. And at that moment, Dan Whedon, who ran his own marketing agency, got inspired from those words, let's do it, and then created an iconic brand name called as Just Do It for Nike, which was then on commercials from 1988. So let us quickly revise the three fun facts that we saw today. Fun fact number one, how Nike was started. It started off as a student and a teacher coming together to import some shoes from Japan and then selling it in the local market which started as a blue ribbon company and eventually went on to become Nike. So Nike's logo comes from a swoosh, which is nothing but which indicates fluidity and motion. And it's also considered as the wings of the Greek goddess of victory, Nike. And the third fun fact for Nike, that how did it get its tagline? It actually is inspired from the final words of a double murderer, Gally Wilmore, who said, let's do it. So the company that started off by importing shoes from Japan today has gone on to become more than $120 billion company and is one of the most recognized brands all over the world in the form of Nike. So I hope this video se aapko Nike ke baare mein zarur kuch fun facts seekhe honge aur aapke zindagi mein value add hui hogi. And thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Do like, share and subscribe Abhay Valsankar and share this with all your friends taaki unka bhi knowledge bade aur unko bhi value mile. So thank you so much for watching once again. Thank you.